Good morning, everybody. So it's Saturday morning today, or Saturday afternoon. Should I say good afternoon? Tom and I, uh, we're having a pretty chill day, but we're gonna go out and get some frozen yogurt. And before I forget, because I promised I would show you guys this palette, I forgot when I mentioned it the other day. So I'm just gonna quickly show you because it's probably my newest favorite palette. Look how gorgeous these shades are. I love like the marbling effect. It's just so, so pretty. I'm wearing this shade and this one. And then I've also got like a little colour pot. And one of the jellies over the top. Which you kind of can't see because I didn't want to do anything crazy. I just wanted to do a little bit of shimmer. Anyway, I'm going to get changed. I've got some jeans on but I might change my top. And the lipstick I'm wearing is called Cream by Colourpop. Ignore my super frizzy hair. I had it in plaits last night after my shower, so it's a bit puffy, but we're, we're just gonna work with it today. Guys, we just got the best parking spot. This is where we're parked, and that right there, that there is too e for e where it's the frozen yogurt place. We stopped on the way, well, right before we left pretty much, and got some frozen slushies. I don't know, let's rock and roll. Hey guys, so we went to the beach for a little, well I say we went to the beach, we literally went and took a picture and then we walked back to the car because our little car was gonna, oh it's got that little salt sign. We've come to see our, basically long story short, yeah, we went to the beach and then we left and we've on the way home we're just stopping off at our block of land and it's got a little sign and we're coming to take pictures because unfortunately there's not really anywhere where I could put a camera to film a time lapse of our house being built so my next best idea is to come regularly and take pictures it's just sand at the moment and then um in a couple of weeks the, the concrete slab will go down over the top and then from there the house will start being built so i'm just going to take a couple pictures <gasps> i want to pat a pink <laughs> hey guys I know that was just like a really random thing for me to just like randomly comment and start saying. So if you guys remember, roughly around this time last year, Tom and I went to the Royal Show with some friends of ours. It's that time of year again. If you guys are new to my channel and you don't know what the Royal Show is, it's basically a celebration of uh, the good old Liz, Queenie. It's her birthday. It's not actually her birthday though, is it? Her birthday's like way earlier on in the year, but we have this thing called the Royal Show around Australia, which basically is in celebration. It's like a big like fair, basically, in celebration of the Queen's birthday, even though it's nowhere near the Queen's birthday. So last year we went, this year I want to go again. I really want to milk a cow. It's on my bucket list. <laughs> Tom thinks it's silly. <laughs> Will you come and milk the cow with me? No, I'm not touching the cow's titty. <laughs> It'd be nice and squishy. I want to milk a cow and I want to pat a pig. You can do that. There's so many animal things that I want to do. I just don't want to react to it. I need to cross this off my bucket list. It's been on there forever. I know that's such a weird thing to put, put on your bucket list, but I want to milk a cow, so. Good afternoon, everybody. So, today is the Royal Show Day, like I explained last night. We're on our way, it's currently just 10 past four. Um, so we're kind of like, you know, gonna have half a day there. Oh, look how beautiful this looks. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I'm so blessed to live where I live sometimes. So yeah, it's just a super long day. And one day I hope that I'd be able, I'm gonna like be able to go with my kids and be able to walk around or at least go for a whole day, even if I need the chair. But like at the moment, that's just not doable. Like my joints aren't good and I just wouldn't be able to walk that much. I really, really hope I get to milk a cow. I'm so excited. <laughs> anyway, so let's go. Trying to put him in the worst mood. P1 cleaner than the church shoes. Really point to just to hurt them. All red lamps to tease them. None of these toys on these two. Okay, guys, shock horror, but it's not an actual cow, it's a fake cow. This is like a wooden cow with little pretend udders that you can milk. You don't actually get to milk the cow yourself. Thomas, 
We've come all this way. I know, it's like fishing up hills and everything. Yeah, we came up a humongous hill for this. Can I touch the udder though? Can you get me closer? It's not working. We're out of milk. I am disappointed. Well, I never. Cut that ivory into skinny pieces And she clean it with her face But you love your baby You talking money, you need a hearing aid You talking about you, you don't see the shade Switch up your style, you take any lane Switch up your cup to kill any pain Look what you've done You're a pretty little star boy Look what you've done Hey guys, so we are home now. I am so so tired. Honestly, like my whole iron levels are just bleh. This is making me so so tired. Didn't wake up till like one. Um, and then we didn't go to the show till like we got there at like half four-ish. Um, then we left probably around nine o'clock. We were there for probably like four and a half, five hours, which was, it was good, but it was tiring. It wasn't as good as it was last year. I was a bit disappointed actually, and it wasn't the best, but it was still a good night and it was fun spending, obviously spending time with Tom. Um, and then it's bank holiday Monday tomorrow, so Tom doesn't have to go to work. And then he's taking a few days off next week and we're going to stay in a hotel for a few nights next week. Um, and it'll be the first time traveling with like the whole TPN situation. So that should be interesting. Anyway, I'm so tired guys. I'm gonna set up my TPN and head to bed and then I will see you tomorrow and I'll show you all the stuff that we got. But yeah, it's basically just sweets and chocolate. <laughs> Love you guys and I will see you in the morning because I am knackered. I'm off to bed. <laughs> Good morning everybody. So it is Wednesday today. So I haven't really vlogged this week. I haven't been feeling that great. Sunday kind of tired me out, even though I was in my wheelchair the whole time. I don't know, it was just having no irons, like, it's so tiring. Like, unless you've experienced it, you just can't explain it. Like, it doesn't matter how much you sleep or, you know, what you do. Like, it's just, like, so, so tired. Like, it reminds me of my days when I, when I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome, which I still am diagnosed with technically. Like, it's on my list of diagnoses, but I really don't think I have that. I think it's part of EDS because that's like chronic fatigue is like a symptom of EDS um, but obviously I can't take it off there because I'm not a doctor um, but yeah I believe personally that I don't actually suffer from that I'm not saying that I didn't at the time but I do think that part of like my tiredness that I get is from EDS but I could be wrong I don't know um, anyway this morning I'm on my way to go get my implant put in to stop my periods I'm nervous but I'm really excited at the same time and I've heard a lot of good things I've got my fingers crossed that this works for me um, and that I don't have any issues with it and then I'm seeing my mum later she's meeting us at the doctors so she's gonna pick me up and then Tom's gonna go to work from there because he's got an appointment after my appointment like a double appointment kind of thing i will film what i can um i'm hoping that my doctor will let me film even though it's just me because i really want to do like an experience video for my main channel as well yeah. oh, i hate trying to ride with these on Would, do you have a top on underneath? I've got a bra. Can do, you I, want me to, do you want me to take this off? And I'll put a sheet on you. Yeah, is that right? I'm only going to put local in. Don't bother taping this. Where the where the mark is? I, that's where I'm going to start the local, mm -hmm. and it will extend. So how 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 long will it it's actually? About be? five. It's about that long. Okay. So if you see, you're meant to place it like in that kind of line. So mm -hmm. that's where it's going to be. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I do start having a reaction, where's like the best place for me to go to? The hospital? Or come back here? We can remove it here. 
Okay. Um, Is that a little arrow? Yeah, that's what I need. Mean. <laughs> <laughs> This is called the Phillips Technique. <laughs> <laughs> She's the most gentle person and perfect with things like this. I, I know, I'm just really anal because if it was in my arm, I'd be like, get it in the right spot. Yeah. No, a plastic surgeon taught me that because you, you then you just get it really under the skin. Does that make sense? Because it's like at a 90 degree angle. So it just, it doesn't actually, are you all right? Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. So do you see it just runs subcut? Oh, so gentle. Are you right? Yeah. You're so sweet. Everyone else is like, ah, ah, and you're like, so gentle. It's because I've had it a lot and I've had some real like nasty. Uh, Sorry, honey. The worst this is, is the like, worst, yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna actually put heaps in. Okay. <laughs> that is generally the worst bit, I think. I know. I Apparently, like. if you warm it, um, and you can put bicarb and things in it to neutralize it slightly. You're okay with Clorhex, aren't you? Yeah, I use it every day on my hair Don't worry. I'm just gonna go. You need to is it gonna hurt? I hope not. No. Are you gonna tell me if it does? Tell me if you have pain, but don't jump. Is it sore? <laughs> no. Tash, can you put the bed up for me? Actually, don't worry. Abort. Abort. <laughs> Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> no, it's just because I'm worried about giving him causing pain, that's all. Are you okay, darling? Mm hmm Are you sure? Yeah. Are you in any pain? A little bit, but it's not. I'm uh, so sorry. No, it's okay. I've had worse. I'm so really good. sorry, darling. We're nearly done. Okay, are you mm -hmm. alright? Mm hmm It's like uh, when you put your finger underneath the chicken skin. Tom! <laughs> out of all the references. What? You wanted to know what was going on. <laughs> that's what it's like. Are you in pain? Are you okay? No, I'm okay. Of course she's in pain. Shh. <laughs> I, I can see it on her face, but I, 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 I didn't anticipate this would be entirely pain free for you, but... It's alright. Okay. That wasn't that bad. So, you okay? Yeah. I think hey guys, so everything went well, no reactions. Tom's getting changed for work. Um, fingers crossed that it's all gonna be fine. My hemoglobin has dropped. We now have a low hemoglobin and my iron as well. So we're trying to get an infusion pretty much as soon as we can. But my doctor doesn't want to do it at the doctor's because she's too worried that I'm gonna like have anaphylaxis. So she wants me to do it at the hospital, but the guidelines are a lot different at the hospital to infuse and it's just a bit all like all over the place in the room. So she's gonna ring the hospital and speak to the, one of the consultants and just go from there basically. I've got a little pressure bandage on my arm. Um, I'll sh I don't know if I showed it in the vlog, I'm not sure. But I'll show you later when we get home. I'm just on our way to go meet my mom at one of the charity shops and my sister and they think we're just gonna have a look in there and then, um, or thrift, thrift stores if you're an American. That's what you guys call them, I think. Um, and then we're gonna go for lunch after that and yeah. So yeah, it wasn't too bad. Obviously, I was expecting the local not to work very well and I, you know, my expectations were met because it was like half numb but half not, like so very similar to my Hickman, except that was so much worse. Um, so I could feel pain when she was doing it. But if you don't have EDS and you don't have problems with local anesthetic, honestly, I think you will be absolutely fine. You won't even feel it. Um, the local anesthetic is probably the worst part. All in all, it went well and yeah. On, the, on my way to go meet my mom and stuff now. Hey guys, so I didn't really vlog today while I was out. I got a few bits involved, nothing nothing worth showing. I did get a eye mask, by the way, which I've been meaning to get for ages, and I wanted to get this panda nothing one. Nothing worth showing, but here's one of the things that I bought. <laughs> well, it's because it was right in front of me. Yeah, I, wanted, I saw this panda one that I really wanted to get, but then it came with like this like luggage tag thing, and it ended up being like... I think it was like three or four dollars more expensive than this one. This was like three dollars and that one was like seven. So I ended up just getting this one just to block out the sunlight because I get woken up by the sunlight a lot. And also my TPN pump, the light of that. Um, so now I have a little eye mask. I've had many over the years, but I always seem to lose them. So we're just about to head to bed. We got, Tom got a call this afternoon saying that they were booking me in for like emergency infusion as soon as possible, which happens to be tomorrow morning. Like it, it's something like ridiculous. We have to like get up at like six something to get to the hospital. Update on my implant. It looks worse than it actually is. Um, that's just cause EDS, you know, easy bruising. So it didn't take much, but yeah, it's a little bit sore. Like when I move my arm, when I touch the area, it's tender, but it's not like painful or anything like 
getting the flu jab hurts more probably I would say um, yeah the bruising just makes it look a bit worse than it is and we cha I did change the dressing because the one that they put on was making me itch so this one feels a lot better I mean the one I had quite a bit of blood on it as well it is leaked through a tiny little bit but not too bad so I'll keep you updated on that situation but I think I'm going to end this vlog here guys I'm going to try and keep these vlogs short-ish and I'm going to attempt to vlog every day like for a whole day even if it's just like a 10 minute vlog um, because that seems to be a lot easier for me to be able to edit and upload rather than the big long ones so I'm just going to kind of see how we go in October I'm going to do my best to vlog every day um, but yeah I'll start fresh tomorrow and so the plan is to go get the infusion tomorrow morning come back here rest for a bit and then head out um, to the hotel in the afternoon anyway if you guys enjoyed today's vlog please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below let me know if you've had the implant how your experience was i hope this has kind of calmed some of you guys' nerves a bit if you're getting this implant done yourself um i tried to film as much as i could so hopefully the footage isn't too terrible <laughs> um but yeah well, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget this was don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>